the biggest uh, question is whether the reflection of sunlight is coming from a solid surface or maybe a dense cloud of dust. A silent traveler from a distant unknown star system has entered our cosmic neighborhood. It's not a colossal object glowing with ghostly green light destined to light up our night sky, but something far more profound, a messenger. This is Comet 3, I-Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected, and it carries with it the secrets of its alien origin. While it won't become a dazzling spectacle for the naked eye, the story it tells is far more captivating. And now, as it approached uh, closer to the sun, uh, there seemed to be some uh, teardrop shape. It exposes the fact that the space above our heads is not just a vast emptiness, but an interstellar highway. And we are just beginning to see the traffic. A messenger from a distant star. For centuries, we've viewed the solar system as our own private backyard, a closed system of planets and comets orbiting our sun in a predictable clockwork dance. The comets we knew were our comets, born in the icy abyss of the Oort cloud, the frozen remnants of our own solar system's creation. They were part of our story. But on July 1st, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile spotted something that shattered this illusion. It was a faint smudge of light, moving with a purpose that defied our sun's gravitational authority. The thing nobody tells you is just how profoundly different an interstellar object is. Our comets are on a leash, bound by the sun's gravity in vast elliptical orbits that can last thousands of years. They are prisoners of our solar system. 3i Atlas, however, is a tourist. Its path is not an ellipse, but a sharp, open-ended curve known as a hyperbolic trajectory. It's moving too fast, at a staggering 58 kilometers per second, to ever be captured by our sun. It entered our solar system, will make a single pass, and then disappear back into the interstellar void, never to return. This high velocity is the cosmic passport that proves its foreign origin. It didn't come from our Oort cloud. It was born in a completely different star system and has likely been wandering the galaxy for millions of years. The discovery sent a shockwave through the astronomical community. We had seen two interstellar visitors before, the bizarre cigar-shaped Oumuamua in 2017, and the more conventional comet too, Iborosov in 2019. But each new visitor is a rare and precious opportunity. Imagine finding a single grain of sand on a beach that you know came from another continent. That's the significance of 3i Atlas. It's a physical sample from another world, a chance to study the chemistry of a place we may never be able to visit. Unlike Oumuamua, which was spotted as it was leaving and gave us little time to study it, 3i Atlas was caught on its way in. This gave us time to prepare, to point our most powerful eyes towards this alien enigma and watch its story unfold. The race was on to decipher the message written in its icy core. Anatomy of an alien comet. So what is this messenger made of? Is it a bizarre artifact from a technologically advanced civilization? as some have speculated? Or is it simply a comet, just like our own? The answer, it seems, is both simpler and more profound than we could have imagined. As the three-eye atlas journeyed closer to the sun, the heat began to work its magic. The ices on its surface started to sublimate, creating a glowing coma and a tail, the classic signatures of a comet. This was no inert, rocky asteroid. It was an active, breathing cosmic iceberg. The James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes were immediately tasked with observing the visitor, and what they found was astonishing. The light from 3i Atlas, when broken down into its constituent colors, revealed the chemical fingerprints of water ice, carbon monoxide, and other familiar molecules. In fact, the composition of this alien comet appeared remarkably similar to the comets born in our own solar system. This is a staggering revelation. It suggests that the chemical building blocks that formed our planets, and perhaps even life itself, might not be unique to our little corner of the galaxy. The same raw materials could be common across countless other star systems, implying that worlds similar to our own could be scattered throughout the cosmos. But not everything about 3i Atlas is so straightforward. Some of its characteristics have raised eyebrows and fueled intense debate. 
The way it reflects light, a property known as polarization, is unlike that of any other comet we've seen. This has led some, like Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, to question whether it could be something more than just a natural object. While the vast majority of scientists believe 3I Atlas is a natural comet, these anomalies remind us how little we truly know about the diversity of objects that wander the interstellar medium. Is it possible that we are seeing something entirely new? A type of object that doesn't quite fit our neat classifications? The mystery of 3I Atlas isn't just about where it came from, but what it truly is. The Hunt for Answers The arrival of 3I Atlas has been a call to arms for astronomers worldwide. This is not just another comet to be ticked off a list. It is a unique scientific opportunity that may not come again for years. The observations have been relentless, with every available instrument trying to glean some new piece of information before the comet slips away. Hubble has provided us with stunningly clear images, showing a teardrop-shaped coma of dust and gas being shed by the icy nucleus. These images allow us to estimate its size, which is thought to be somewhere between half a kilometer and five kilometers in diameter. A mountain-sized snowball, adrift between the stars. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its powerful infrared vision, has gone even deeper, analyzing the composition of the gas and dust being released. Its discovery of water ice and carbon monoxide confirms that 3I Atlas is a comet, but also provides crucial data for understanding the conditions in its home star system. The ratio of these different ices can tell astronomers about the temperature and environment where the comet formed. It's like cosmic archaeology, sifting through the remains of a long-dead star system to understand how it was built. And then there is the trajectory itself. The fact that 3I Atlas is on a retrograde orbit, moving in the opposite direction to the planets, and is closely aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk in which the planets orbit the Sun, is statistically unlikely. This has been one of the key points for those who argue for a more exotic origin. While these are likely just cosmic coincidences, they add to the mystique of this strange visitor. Every new piece of data, every observation, is another piece of a puzzle that we are desperately trying to solve against a ticking clock. The comet is not slowing down. Its journey through our solar system is a fleeting one, a brief moment in its millions of years of travel. A fleeting glimpse. As of September 2025, Comet 3I Atlas is making its way through the inner solar system. In late October, it will reach its perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, passing just inside the orbit of Mars. This will be the moment of its most intense activity, as the Sun's heat bakes its surface, releasing a torrent of gas and dust. After that, it will begin its long journey back out into the void. It poses no threat to Earth, passing us at a safe distance of about 170 million miles. By December, it will reappear from behind the sun, allowing for a final few months of observation before it fades into the darkness, becoming too faint for even our most powerful telescopes to see. What many overlooked in the initial excitement of its discovery is the profound sense of urgency it creates. This isn't like studying a planet or a star that will be there for billions of years. This is a one-time event. We have a few short months to learn everything we can from this priceless sample of another solar system. Every photon of light collected, every measurement taken, is a piece of a message that has traveled for eons to reach us. Once it's gone, the opportunity is lost forever. This fleeting encounter forces us to confront the vastness of both space and time. 3I Atlas was born around another star, in a planetary system that may or may not still exist. It was ejected from its home, and has been wandering the cold, dark emptiness of the galaxy for a time that is difficult to comprehend. Its brief passage through our solar system is a tiny, insignificant blip in its epic journey. And for us, it is a humbling reminder that our solar system is not an island, but a coastline on a vast, unexplored cosmic ocean. 3I Atlas is a piece of driftwood that has washed ashore, and it tells us there is a whole other world out there waiting to be discovered the unspoken possibilities. So, the official story is written. 3I Atlas is a natural comet, 
a lucky catch that proves the building blocks of our solar system are common throughout the galaxy. It's a neat, tidy, and comforting conclusion. It reassures us that while the universe is vast, it's also familiar. But what if that's just the easy answer? What if the truth is far stranger, far more complex, and perhaps a little more unsettling? When we look at the lingering anomalies, the statistical improbabilities, and the sheer cosmic coincidence of its arrival, we have to ask, are we really being told the whole story? Let's talk down to Earth for a moment. The thing nobody tells you is that in science, just as in life, sometimes the simplest explanation isn't the right one, it's just the safest one. Consider this, the object's trajectory is a statistical long shot. Its composition is normal, but its light reflecting properties are not. It was discovered by a system designed to find Earth impactors, almost as if it wanted to be seen. To put it mildly, it's a collection of coincidences that has led some researchers to whisper about possibilities that are usually confined to science fiction. What if 3i Atlas isn't just a messenger, but a message in a bottle that has lost its sender? Let's explore the idea that this isn't a pristine comet, but a derelict alien machine. Imagine a probe sent out millions of years ago by a civilization that may no longer even exist. Over the eons, as it drifted through the interstellar void, it accumulated a thick crust of ice and dust, a cosmic camouflage that makes it look exactly like a comet. The outgassing we see might not be the sublimation of primordial ice, but the slow, steady venting of a failing power source, or the leaking of ancient coolant after a catastrophic system's failure. The strange polarization of its light could be the result of sunlight reflecting off a manufactured metallic surface, hidden just beneath that icy shroud. It's a ghost ship, silently tumbling through our system, a relic of a forgotten empire. But not all things are what they seem, because some theories are even more profound. What if the familiar chemistry of 3i Atlas isn't a coincidence, but a purpose? This leads us to the radical and deeply controversial idea of directed panspermia. The theory of panspermia suggests that life can be spread between star systems on comets and asteroids. But what if it isn't an accident? What if an ancient, hyper-advanced civilization seeded the galaxy with life by sending out fleets of comets, each one a biological time capsule packed with the fundamental organic molecules necessary to kickstart life on a barren world? 3i Atlas, in this scenario, wouldn't be a messenger. It would be a farmer, planting the seeds of life as it passes through a young, promising solar system. Its normal composition would be the perfect disguise for its extraordinary cargo. What many have overlooked is that this doesn't even have to be a current, ongoing program. It could be the echo of an event that happened billions of years ago. The galaxy could be filled with these cedar comets, the legacy of a creator race we will never meet, still faithfully carrying out their mission long after their masters have turned to dust. And then there's a theory that is both less alien and somehow more violent. Perhaps 3i Atlas isn't a pristine piece of a solar system's birth, but a scar from its death. Imagine a solar system far away where two planets collided in a cataclysmic impact, shattering them into trillions of pieces. What was its home star like? What kind of planets did it orbit? And how many more of these silent messengers are out there, crossing the unfathomable distances between the stars? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the cosmic unknown.